Hey guys, it's me David coming at you with the second to last Somerset review and we have the new Palpatine's Arrest. Uh, now I, I went through a lot of trouble to get this pretty early and uh, I'm really glad I got it. It comes with some great many figures. Let's go ahead and do, uh, go dive right into them. So uh, the first one we get is a brand new Mace Windu and uh, he has a, I'm pretty sure it's a modified torso design. It's similar to the Clone Wars design but it's not exactly the same. And then he has a new face. Then he has his uh, purple lightsaber. And he does not have back printing. Like, he does have... No, does not. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So that's the new Mace Windu. I'm really glad that all of these new Jedi are... Uh, are uh, like an Episode 3 movie-like version. Not the Clone Wars versions of them. Um... The movie likes look so much cooler. Next one we have is Agent Kolar. Uh, Kolar, I think, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. And uh, I'm pretty sure his headpiece is brand new, along with his um, face. And he has a brand new print on his torso. And... Uh, you can kind of tell what the back printing is right there. It's kind of a pain actually put this uh, um, his hair on uh, because this right here will actually like kind of bend the uh, cape, so it was kind of hard to actually put his uh, cape on. And he has a blue lightsaber. Next is we have uh, Sesi Ten, and uh, this is the Episode Three version of him. So he looks way cooler. Much better than the Clone Wars one. Now he does have the same uh, headpiece as the Clone Wars one, but it looks just fine with that new face print. Then he has a new torso design, and he does have some back printing. Then he has his uh, green lightsaber. Next is we have Kit Fisto, the only not new figure, or updated figure at least. So, yeah. Not much to say about him. It's just Kit Fisto. Green lightsaber. It's the same exact one that came in that uh, hyperspace ring back in 2005 or six. Next is we have a new Anakin Skywalker. He has a new torso and a new face. He has the same legs from the uh, Interceptor. And I actually really like his new face. It looks really good. Uh, this is very useful for brick films. Um, this, this is probably the best Anakin they've made, honestly. He's got the darker hair, uh, hair color. He's got a really nice torso, he's got printed legs. I think Lego did a really good job on uh, this figure. And he also has a new back printing. And I think you get the point there. And then he has his blue lightsaber. And last but not least is the evil um, Palpatine. Obviously this is Palpatine's arrest. Um, oh yes, <laughs> I am so silly. I'm sorry guys. Uh, Palpatine's arrest is 9526, ages 9 to 14, and has 645 pieces, runs at $100. We'll talk more about that price later. So here's the new Palpatine, and um, you do get two um, things of lightning for him to hold in his hand. So he has a double-sided face, so this is his uh, front face. And this is his new torso design. I'm really glad we finally got a uh, Palpatine that's uh, Chancellor Palpatine that's uh, actually like an Episode Three one that's actually more accurate. Uh, but yeah, and here is his evil kind of uh, rugged face. And then he just has uh, dark red legs. And he does have a red lightsaber with a 
uh, cro no gold golden hilt, and I'll show you that later. It's actually in, it's part of the set. I'll show you what I mean about that later. So we're just gonna move the all these guys off the screen, and let's dive into the set itself. Now I gotta say it was not a fun build. It was actually very frustrating. It may have just been me, but I never really mess up on builds. I never really make mistakes, but this one. I just had at least five errors and I, you know, I think I actually kept like a error in the instruction booklet. Something about this set, it just, it was very confusing building this upper part. I know it looks very simple, but there's actually a lot of mechanics under it. Um, this here was actually a little difficult because they didn't really explain instructions, you know, how to do, un uh, it's a lot of underneath stuff. It looks really simple on top. It just wasn't as pleasant and easy build as I thought it might have been. But I guess it's kind of a challenge then. But I don't really like when you mess up. I've never really messed up before. Alright, so the first thing we get is this uh, kind of... Uh, it's not really a spaceship. It's more like a kind of car version, uh, except spaceship. So this is... Uh, I was told this is what Jedi used to get around Coruscant. Um... It's quite nice actually. It's uh this is the only thing that has stickers on it. Uh these two things are stickers, so it's this. And the cockpit can just open up that air and you can sit the um figure right there. And there is no control panel, kinda lame. This is what the back looks like. It's got two little um kind of booster engines. And then of course guys, what is a set without its flick fire missiles? Uh so we got two flick fire missiles here and here, um, I think you get the point. I don't even need to flick the uh, flick fire missiles, and uh, it has a nice little tail going on back here. And this is under it. It's, it's a very simple design. Let's put that off to the side. So uh, one of the, I guess, the cool things about this set is the fact that you can uh, actually rearrange some of this. So this like docking port, which is not actually officially part of this very scene. It's just near the actual scene. You can take that out. It's just on regular pegs. And you can say I want to switch it and put it right there. Like that. I can do that. And um, if I wanted to I could actually connect it back here as well. So I'm actually going to disconnect this. Let me just show it to you up close. This is the, this is actually a really cool, this is the really cool scene where you see all four Jedi walk in, the doors open, and then you see all four Jedi, badass mates, we do excuse my language, and uh, we see all of the really awesome Jedi just come right through and uh, they just die. It's kind of sad. I just, I really wish Palpatine didn't just kill off some of the coolest Jedi ever. But whatever. George Lucas and your silly mind of killing the poor innocent Jedi. Anyways, um, the doors uh, are just very simple mechanics. It just opens and closes. Um, I, I really can't say more than that. It just does that. Um, you can open one door like that. And it's not the very best design because they kind of come up like that. But it works. Um, and then you have some extra detailing going on there. So if you want to be, wow, that's just great. There we go. So if we want to be movie accurate, the actual opening doors is right there. So you could have like a cool, and of course this wants to break. And so if you want, you can have like a cool, opening shot in like a stop motion be like dun 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 you see him uh, Palpatine right there so that's kind of cool actually you can be like dun 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 yeah you get the point um so I'm actually gonna take these two things off now and just focus on Palpatine's room or office whatever so uh here is an up close, wow, really? This set just doesn't like me. 
So here's an up close uh, view of Palpatine's uh, um, desk. And uh, I really like to actually included these two chairs because this is where Mace Windu sits and Yoda sits. Um, and they talk about, you know, there's darkness coming, blah, blah, blah. So it's actually kind of cool. I'm really glad they included these chairs. You know, this set, this part at least, this part of the set, I'm really glad they made it actually a set because I've always wanted to do a stop motion scene because we see this office a lot because Emperor, the Emperor, uh, or Chancellor Palpatine, before he was an Emperor, uh, during the Clone Wars, we see this scene a lot. And you see the Jada, I say, oh, this is where a lot of military tactics take place uh, with Clone Wars battles. So I've always wanted to, you know, replicate this office and that way I could do a stop motion scene. And, you know, I was looking at the office like, this cannot be done. It's just too hard, too expensive to buy the parts and stuff. So I'm actually really glad that LEGO kind of gave us a set. I mean, honestly, yes, we have to finish it a little bit around the edges, but we actually have a set that we can use for stop motion now. I'm really happy that they uh, gave this to us, even though it's not the very best set and the very best price, but it is a good set overall. Uh, anyways, so you got the chairs that spin. Palpatine uh, chair does not spin at all. It just, whoa, snap. There we go. Uh, it just stands still there. Um, then you got some nice detailing there. Not much to say. Okay. So you can actually, if we take this lightning off. Well, first feature is you can store the lightning. This lightning right here. This lightning can actually, if you open this up, this doesn't really make much sense, but you can actually store the lightning in this little secret compartment, like that. And then on the other compartment, voila, there's his lightsaber. Now that makes sense. So here he is with his lightsaber. And it's not really a chrome kind of light, uh, gold lightsaber, it's just a dull kind of chrome. I wish it was like a shiny chrome, that would be cool. But, yeah. Um, and then, on each side you can launch a figure, so if we want to, we want Palpatine to just, you know, jump off. Watch this. Yep. That was pretty awesome. Okay, what was really funny about that is he actually flew halfway across the room. So that's a pretty cool mechanic they got going on there, Lego. They actually made a good launcher. Um, so, that's actually really, really funny. Now, um, you may have seen it earlier, but this uh, back thing, which doesn't really stay on here too well. Oh, yeah, there we go. Um, drops like that, just like in the movie scene. There's a little thing right here that holds it in place, not too well, and then just drops it. They could have made, this is very easy to take off. They could have made that better. Uh, and then this, this does not look good. I mean, there is no giant gap and hole in the frickin' uh, window. That's kind of a disappointment. But, there you go, that's let go. Uh, anyways, um, yeah, that, that's actually all the, all to the set. Yep, I covered it all. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyways, uh, we'll just snap this. Actually, do something cool. There we go. And there we go. That makes much more sense. Huzzah. Yata. <laughs> uh, anyways. Um... So that's Palpatine's arrest, guys. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, push this back. And there we go. And I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the box. Oh, one last thing. 
How do I forget these things? Uh, there is kind of a dark, uh, there is a double-sided face on Anakin's head. Thought I'd show you that. There you go. Uh, so this is his more dark side. I'm gonna kill you! Yeah. Not really. Killed his own wife, though. Kind of sad. Yeah. Wish Batman didn't die. Anyways, um... To the box, guys. Okay, so what we got going on here? Very, very long box, but very, very, uh... Uh, short, um, with. Anyways, uh, so that's, that's the front, not much to say. Yeah. And on the back is actually some cooler stuff going on. So this is what I mean right here, you could, uh, where is it? Uh, yeah, right there, you can have some pretty cool scenes going on. I wish that background, of course, on was included. That would be cool. Uh, but yeah, that 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 launcher right there, that actually does a very good job. Uh, but yeah. So that's it, guys. Um, that's Palpatine's arrest. Now, last thing, I want to talk about how it's six hundred and forty-five pieces, and it's a hundred dollars. And it's 90 euros, I think. It could be $90, but I'm pretty sure it's $100. It's what everybody's been saying it is. Maybe $90. i am not sure. Anyways, uh, for $100, 645 pieces, that's that's a ripoff. Um, it should have been at least $80. I would have thought $80 would be decent, but $100 is really, really pushing it there. Um, yes, you get... I think the reason why they charge it up so high is... Either A, there's, um, I don't know, actually. I think it's just because of the minifigures being new and exclusive to this set. Um, you know, we have this minifigure. And, of course, he looks really great. And, you know, you're going to want him. And then, of course, you're going to want a real Episode 3 Mace Window. You don't want that crappy Clone Wars one. They know you want that. I mean, they they're they're basically... Making you want to get the set just for these minifigures, pay that ridiculous hundred dollars for the minifigs. Um, of course, this is my. I think Sassy Ten has the best looking, is the best looking Jedi in the set. Uh, but anyways, uh, so that, that I, I, that's probably reason why they charge it up. I'm not. I don't know that, but I'm gonna give a, a, an estimated guess that that could be the reason. Um, eighty dollars would have been much better. You know kind of sucks but a lot of you probably still will just get the set because you know you get these exclusive jedi that's the main attraction um would i recommend it yes i am going to recommend it why because it's actually a cool set you can use it and a lot of you, you see it in the clone movies you see it in a lot in the uh uh the prequel chill or not the prequels but yeah the prequels um yeah you see you see it in episodes one through three a lot so it, it's a very iconic scene, and you get really cool characters, and uh, you know it's actually a cool set. I like it, but there was a couple problems. Like I said, I had problems with building. Maybe not with for you, but it was for me. Um, and the hundred dollar, you know, I, I I wish it was eighty, but at a hundred dollars, I say save up, get it. Um, even though I had some problems, and even though it is a high price, um, but they put some nice details like the little golden statue right there that's cool you know and they added some really nice stuff so i'll give props to lego for actually pulling off the set pretty well i know i know a lot of people complain that oh well, you know this 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 ship right here shouldn't be in there blah 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 i think it's fine i think it's actually a nice little addition but um yeah that's about it guys thank you very much for watching this review uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, share this video. I'm actually pretty sure that I'm at least the first in America. I'm not too sure about first in the world, but that'd be cool if that if that's true. I don't know if I am or not. But anyways, uh, if you go right on up there, you'll see a subscribe and more videos button. The more videos button will show you the rest of the summer 2012 sets. And the subscribe button will give you all my new videos right in your uh, front page of YouTube, so I highly suggest you click that button. And of course, liking the video. 
doesn't hurt at all. And I want to say thank you to all of my fans because you guys keep on supporting me with these reviews so much. Thank you. Really appreciate that. And I'll see you guys in another review. Bye-bye.